suffering defeat after defeat. That man's body was reaching its limit, breaking down. But he couldn't die yet. The man had a job that must be done. To defeat his twin brother. Dante. brother he could only do one thing with the crumbling flesh and feelings he needed to separate man from devil with the strength of the yamato and eventually the man became a true devil I didn't think they would just spell it out just like that. Together my crumbling flesh with what little demonic power I have left, but I'm approaching my limit. In separating and regaining my human soul, I've realized the gravity of the crime I've committed. I've realized how important everything was. Everything I've thrown away in my pursuit of power. Is that why you went to find Dante? Yes. Foolish. I thought that maybe he could change my... Maybe fix. Maybe right my wrong. Tell me. Was this fool before you, right? I'm not your mommy, V. You're a big boy. And you need to see this through. Dante's war. Seriously, the last mission ended on a cliffhanger, and then we just, well, <laughs> pulled him up safely onto the ledge immediately. Incredible. Also, Dante, please. As a result of the boss fight in the previous chapter, uh, we got a new weapon. Uh, my Italian is not very good. Uh, but the Cavalieri, the brand new weapon, it's made of the motorcycle that got cut in half. That the uh, demon metal from uh, the boss fused with, and now suddenly it's a new weapon. Um, I think... I'm going to want this, sure. Yeah, all right. Um, I 
after getting all the moves to this thing. I mean, why not? Uh, charge shot two? Okay. Charge shell two? Yeah. And don't have the money for any of the trickster upgrades. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's get into it. I want to show off this new weapon in action. Uh, Unless you want to die, I suggest you all right yeah it's a uh, kind of a slow but a uh, chainsaw like weapon You can like do things to boost its damage. Uh, that's what this gear mode is. But I can't say I remember the finer points of looking at it. You know, I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, it'll give me like some info. Continuous damage, chain attacks, and connect with spinning wheels to take advantage. That didn't help at all. Alright, well... I think if you just keep landing hits, it gets uh, stronger. Also, a minor correction about how Royal Guard works, because I didn't, uh, I didn't realize this, but they did make some changes to it since, uh, since I'd played it in, uh, or since I'd played uh, Devil May Cry 3. So instead of uh, taking reduced damage, Uh, it just uses up your Devil Trigger gauge. And then, of course, getting a perfect clock uh, is uh, still preferable. Doesn't actually use up your gauge. But uh, as long as you have Devil Trigger, you're just invincible while you have your guard up. Which I did not have it there. There's also the uh, the release attack actually gets stronger if you can, uh, I guess, if you release with the same timing that you would need for a perfect block. I think. 
and need all the money I can get. Let's get it. Need the hog hatchling. I don't have. Hmm. Why, it almost looks like the statue can move, and there might be something. You wouldn't like mine. But that's fair. I would prefer to keep my blood within me. Uh, Rev it up! Huh? Hold on, I gotta see that move. Like, with Dante in full view. Alright, so we do back to front. God is using chainsaw. Like, the chainsaw like wheels to just kind of dig in and propel him forward. We're doing a cross slash. So good. How do I get this freaking Nidhogg hatchling? Where are you? I can't believe I got a backtrack. I didn't find it. Alright, uh, that's fun and all, but it's also a tiny bit slow. Let's... Let's see. Is it back here? Sure isn't. Backtracked for nothing. Great. Also, while I'm lost, just want to say again that I cannot believe the last mission ended on that cliffhanger. He's like, fine, I'll tell you the story of my birth. The weird emo kid he is. Kid, but you know. I want to go up there. Okay, fine. Um... And they really just go right oh, into it. Fried blood in the gutter. That explains how the pools down there get filled. All right. Uh, yeah, they just reveal it in the beginning of the following mission. Like, there's no perspective change or anything. Incredible. But, uh, yeah, as you saw, V is actually the human side of Virgil, who is incredibly not dead after everything that's happened to him. After Dante kicked his ass in Devil May Cry 3, uh, after he got corrupted into Nilo, Angelo, and Devil May Cry 1, at which point Dante kicked his ass again. He's still alive and kicking, but, uh... Come on. Oh! Damn it. Nice try. Rev it up, I guess. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find out what the hell gear mode is. Let's take a, a look at the skill list. Or gear wheel. Uh, 
Drag the enemy into the spinning wheel. All right. Um, low gear. Top gear. Over top gear. Um, oh. All right. Here's the real gimmick. Apparently. Uh, combos don't really matter. All right. So hit and land an attack, activate gear wheel. Wait until it glows to get a faster attack. And if you can time your next button press with the end of your uh, attack, then you get even stronger hits, even faster hits. Let's see if I can try that. sure what the timing is supposed to be. And I'm gonna need some further experimentation. I'm pretty sure this game has like a video I can look at, a zoomed in video. Oh well. I thought the game had that feature, but I guess there's just like the practice mode. Pulsating. Not wrong. All right, so I've uh, uncorked the bloodstream. A bloodstream. Pretty sure there's one more, though. That's a look yep. of. Here comes the blood. Look of just one more. This is the way it came from. I want the money, and I also want to make sure I'm not missing any. Bonus prizes. That's the easy way back. Alright, so if I go through here, there should be another hatchling for me to take. There's no way. I can only give you one key. You just have to guess which way is progress. Ah, new enemy type, huh? <laughs> All right. Wonderful 101 was fun. Take this guy out. Oh, 
Ah, uh, there we go. There's that uh, critical timing release for the pent-up Royal Guard energy. Which, uh, you know, I will point out, was not at, not actually at a, a full meter. Pretty sure. Oh, great! Crossroads. See, well, that's the way back, so. But they're not making it easy for me. All right, fine. Hey, big boy. Now I get to fight you, Dante. Figure out the time for over top mode. Over top gear. Apparently, I want it so bad, I'm willing to. Uh, too slow. working out, I guess. I guess that's the important thing. It's working out. Break that down just yet. Something else I can mention in the meantime. Uh, the weapon Balrog, uh, at least the boxing style, is 100% uh, a reference to uh, the Street Fighter character. Don't want to keep Mr. Demon King waiting. Gotta pick up the pace. Except, uh, specifically, the American Street Fighter character, uh, by which I mean, uh, in America he's called Balrog. fast enough. Oh well. Uh, Three, two, one. If you're at all familiar with uh, if you're at all familiar with uh, uh, Street Fighter lore you've probably heard this before but if you aren't the, uh, the three boss characters in Street Fighter 2 uh, Balrog, Vega, and M. Bison. Uh, they had their names swapped around for uh, legal person for legal purposes. Uh, they thought maybe it would not be the smartest thing uh, to name a boxer in an American game uh, Mike Bison. It was really clear what they were going for. Uh, 
So they just kind of swapped the names around. Uh, so that's why if you ever watch anything from like the fighting game community uh, featuring Street Fighter, uh, they'll just refer to the character as Boxer uh, because he was M. Bison in Japan and uh, Balrog in America, abroad. But uh, yes, his uh, the weapon is a reference to that. That's why it's called Balrog. I think it would have been really cool if uh, the second style, the, the Capoeira style, was uh, more like... Um, what's his name? What's his English name? Vega. I think his name was originally Balrog in Japanese. If instead of Capoeira, they used uh, that fighting style instead, as a nod to how uh, to how the names work, that would have been really cool, but uh, oh well, it's fine. Be all of them. There's that other hatchling, so it's been a while since I used my brain this much. Oh, Dante. Yeah, that's probably true. Back. Here? No. Take uh, extra resources, though. Need that cash. Can't help but feel like I'm taking the long way around, but uh, maybe I'm not. Yeah. No, I totally took the long way around. I probably could have gotten that gold orb from there, but I don't actually care. So let's take a quick peek. I have 13 gold orbs. It's fine. What I do want to do is... Uh, I don't know where the hell this thing will lead me. This other hatchling. Can't be that far away. Nope, that's going backward. You couldn't have removed the other locked door. There. See, you've already been there. I can, yeah, I can tell because that's remains of the root and it up here wasn't it yeah okay let's use this key see what kind of prizes await behind door number two a piece.
really don't you get me from behind oh look at that there we go that's how it's done there is a purple orb fragment up there and that's always good to have don't say no to these things. Now, if I were game design, I would... I'm going to say I would make it so that there's uh, another key, another hatchling to take. I just go the wrong way. It'd give me a shortcut back just for me to screw it up. Uh, what if I do this? Oh. Extremely rude for them to, uh, use something like this. Dangle a blue orb fragment right in front of me. Oh well. Let's -a go. Ultimate that way. This brings me back. Right, there must have been an area kind of like this in uh, Devil May Cry One. What, really? Totally should have been able to make that jump. Let's try it over here. There we go. Like we've got secret mission point. What am I missing? We'll give it a try. I do not know what this one is. Stay in the air more than 15 seconds. All right. It's been a while since I've had to do one of these. What was it in three? Wow. All right. Um, all right. We're going to retry. I think if I use uh, Swordmaster moves in the air, that should help. Maybe. God. I already don't like this uh the way you instantly fail. Would have been nicer if they just like reset the uh the, the timer. Oh my god. Alright, that's it. I'm done. See in three when they put this secret mission in there. Um, well, first of all, he didn't have to buy the enemy step skill. It was just there. It's just a natural ability. You don't... Why would you need to spend money uh, to gain the ability to just kind of uh, Mario jump on enemies? But it also just had a simple timer. Or... Yeah, it just would count down as long as you were in the air. And then uh, if you touched the ground before the timer ran out, the timer just reset. And then you could just try again immediately. And if you wanted to give up, you could just walk out of the room. That's way better than what they have going on here.
You have 45,000 red orbs just to be able to uh, jump on top of an enemy. Ridiculous. Anyway, let's do some quick math for what I would need to upgrade uh, all of my styles. That uh, 40, no, 56,000. I'm going to get Royal Guard uh, level 3. Get that sweet, sweet air release. Royal Revenge would be the grand prize, but not allowed. It's too rich for my blood. I'll probably unlock it eventually. At least that's my hope. Uh, but if I don't, Royal Revenge is a special counterattack. Uh, you don't need to time it or anything. I can't believe any of this is still standing. You don't need to time the Royal Revenge at all. As long as you have a meter, a, a full stock out of a possible 10, uh, you can go into a defensive stance that will block an incoming attack and uh, counter for big damage. Oh, also we're here. Hey, what's wrong with you? Hey, hey, Dante. The demonic power was activated in me once when Virgil lovingly jammed this through my chest. <laughs> ah, I always wondered why did my father give me the rebellion? Okay, what are you muttering? Over the years, I've been stabbed and jabbed by a number of things. But who would have ever guessed? Have you lost your mind? There's a demon to destroy! Kill yourself later! I'll help! Thanks, Griffin. If the Yamato can separate man from devil, then what about the rebellion? Hey, demon's looking pretty familiar right about now. As you may or may not recall from Devil May Cry 3, Dante... He didn't have his devil powers at first. He only awakened to them when, uh, when, as Dante said, Virgil stabbed him through the chest with the rebellion. Something about how Dante's blood activated its powers, which in turn activated his own powers. Now he's like, well, what if I did it again? What if someone who has a stand already gets stabbed by the arrow? One more time. So the Devil Sword Dante is yet another upgrade to the uh, usual broadsword. Um, it does all kinds of things. Just look at this. Big, flashy, sweeping sword attacks. So 
this new form is called Sin Devil Trigger. Uh, you hold down L1, apparently, and uh, you can fill up your Sin Devil Trigger. Okay, there's... There's the drawback. You get extra power, but you can't cancel out of it early, and you don't regain health from it. Let's uh, try that. Nowhere to go. Rude. Uh, the other big thing. Oops, that didn't work. What was I trying to say? Um, Alright, there's the transformation sequence. Uh, just uh, eating away at his health bar. I want to recover a little bit of health though. Say a lot of the uh, the moves that you get from uh... okay, so you can see there when I go this. Excuse me, I'm trying to explain something here. here is uh, when you go into Swordmaster style and you try to use the uh, job's unique actions, the style's unique actions. Uh, now you summon these like. Really? Fine. I got plenty of gold orbs. I'm not here to impress anybody. It's fine. Uh, using Swordmaster style, the unique style actions with the, the, the Demon Sword Dante. Uh, it does a completely different time, thing. And you still don't get it. Those, like, summoned blades. So, the old Swordmaster moves get integrated into its normal uh, move set. That's what I was trying to explain. But I guess big things are happening. What's happening? Something big, I just said. Whoops, it's kind of gross. 
Dante jumps through that pillar of blood and hoping to get transported to wherever years in went. And, uh, oops. Didn't go. Alright. Thorn Swords, detail, uh, Wolf King, whoops. Whoops. Death to life, whoops. Drawn out devil, oh, sure. Earthbound, wow, rude. Although, extremely topical, because hey, did you hear that Earthbound has been added to Nintendo Switch Online? Just happened earlier today. 